I, dude, this isn't cool, bro. I thought that I could borrow for a little bit, man. Oh, shit, man, I'm gonna be late. I can't even do this right now, man. Sean. Sean. Sean! What? Yo, man. The universe has a way of working things out, bro. You see, in, in the history of philosophy and poetry and art, we always find the interchange of two personality types, which I call prickles and goo. The prickly people are um, advocates of intellectual porcupinism. Uh, they want a rigor. They want precise statistics. And they have a sudden clipped attitude in their voices. And you know this very well in academic circles, where there are people who are always edgy like that. And they accuse other people of being disgustingly vague and miasmic and mystical. But the vague, miasmic, and mystical people accuse the prickly people of being mere skeletons with no flesh on their bones. And they say to you, you just rattle. You're not really a human being. You know the words, but you don't know the music. When we make music, we don't do it in order to reach a certain point, such as the end of the composition. If that were the purpose of music, then obviously the fastest players would be the best. And so likewise, when we are dancing, we are not aiming to arrive at a particular place on the floor, as we would be if we were taking a journey. 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 gathered round the glory of God. And they're saying, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Means nothing. <laughs> music is a, is a power force. It's God, just like the earth is God, the ocean is God. The music and God, uh, big similarities, they're both uh, separate, but it's seamless. It's separate and without seams. They always go together. Goes with, spelled all in one. Like a front goes with a back. Where there are no flowers, there are no bees, and where there are no bees, there are no flowers. They're really one organism. It's, for example, difficult to see a hand unless there is a contrasting background. Were there no background to the hand, the hand itself would vanish. And therefore, because of this, you see, because of the inseparability of these opposites, they always go together. This, as it were, hints at some kind of unity which underlies them. This world is a great wiggly affair. Clouds are wiggly. Waters are wiggly. Plants are wiggly. Mountains are wiggly. People are wiggly. But people are always trying to straighten things out. You are something the whole universe is doing 
in the same way that a wave is something that the whole ocean is doing. Thus, Alan Watts speaks and we play music. Seven of us combine all our hearts to make one. We're talking about the ego, we're talking about Ellen Watts. Every, every instrument seems to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with every other instrument. A scheme of uh, interconnections. The hi-hat, it always needs to be connecting with the bass, which always needs to be connecting with the clavinet, which always needs to be connecting with the guitar. The nature of the whole entire thing is primarily spiritual. I believe that we're all God and we're all the eyes and the ears and the hands and the feet of God. And we just all had our minds blown over there. We say, for example, of music, that we feel it to be significant. It is felt to be significant, not because it means something other than itself, but because it is so satisfying as it is. Look, you see, we live in a rectangular boxes, all kinds. Look at the bookshelf, see? Everything's straightened out. So wherever you look around nature and you find things all being straightened out, you know people have been around. They're always trying to put things in boxes. The real you is not a puppet which life pushes around. Because boxes are classifiers, pigeonholes. Words are labels on boxes. But the real world is wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. Now, when you have a wiggly system like a cloud, how much wiggle is a wiggle? <laughs> well, you have to draw the line somewhere. And so people come to sorts of agreements. About uh, how much of a wiggle is a wiggle, that is to say a thing, one wiggle always reduce any one wiggle with the sub wiggle. The real deep down you is the whole universe.